what did you come up what it means to, for you to win stage? Uh, well, I'm happy, you know, I'm really happy, but it's not what I thought it would be. I'm just kind of completely in shock. Went across the line, like I couldn't believe it, and it's just really strange at home, but it's, it's starting to sink in now. It's, uh, you could say it's a big relief, because uh, I've done, I think it's my seventh Ross, and it's, it's so hard, and you try so hard every year, and I haven't really got a stage win, or I haven't really won anything in the race, so to finally get it, it's, uh, it's a really nice feeling, man. Yeah. But you must uh, sense the stage victory was on when you went clear early on there and back you. Yeah, well, I started thinking about it all right, and I kind of said to myself, I tried to make myself not think about it and get on with the job and I knew the decisive moment would be uh, the first climb um, Ocrovan I think it was and uh, the German guy pushed on there and I just stayed with him and at first I was trying to take the KOH points so that the Swedish guy with us wouldn't take it off David O'Loughlin but then we started to get a good gap and he was strong and I was quite strong as well and we worked quite well and it looked like we were going to get caught with about 25k to go. It was coming down to a minute, but we had a bit more left in the tank and we just gave it everything to finish. And he got a little bit of a jump on me in the sprint, but I think for once I wasn't nervous or I had great confidence. Like the, He got the jump, but I knew it was uphill and I just went as hard as I could to get after him and came around him in the last 100 metres or so. I was really happy. <laughs> You won all four climbs today, and, and you've got, got the, uh, the, the you've gone into joint leadership in the King of the Mountains with your, your teammate David Ola. Yeah, it's, I didn't think it was possible. Well, really, I, I started taking the KOH points with a, trying to defend David's jersey, but it turns out now I have it. So uh, we'll try and keep that tomorrow, whether it be me or David. So we'll see what happens. Throughout the week, yourself and David and other members of the team have, have, have been fairly active, but you haven't got up there to challenge for the, the yellow jersey. Why do you think that was? Uh, I think we rode quite well. A lot of people looked at our, the way we were riding and thought it looked a bit strange, but we kept all our teammates within striking distance of the yellow jersey. And, you know, the race is strange. Sometimes it doesn't work out, but sometimes it does. It worked out for us there and when Stephen Gallagher won in 2008, but uh, this year it just didn't work out. It's just a strange race. It's really hard to, it's really hard to say I'm going to go and aim for the classman because uh, it's only five riders per team and it's really, really difficult to control the race. So I think lose the race every day like one day and hope for the best. Your dad, Philip, uh, is on this. Ross, as a, as a manager, he won the race twice. Was he pretty pleased with the opening Yeah, he was, yeah. He's, he's, he's more pleased than me, I think. He couldn't believe it, because I've been quite down, actually, the last few days, morale-wise. I've been just kind of moping around the hotel and not very happy at all, because the first four days I felt fantastic, and I got nothing for it. Like, I was coming in in groups that weren't, you know, just through team tactics, I was getting left in groups that... I felt I shouldn't be in and I was just, I was really down because I thought the race was going away and I was thinking it might be my last chance but then it just worked out. It's bizarre. What was the difference today than other days? I don't know, maybe I was just relaxed, didn't have any pressure on myself. I was kind of, I talked pretty rationally about it, I knew exactly what I had to do and it wasn't that crazy, you know, I was sitting in that group from early on, I had plenty of time to think about what was going to go on and I sat there and I, was, I had three or four bars eating before I got to the climb and you know, eating, eating, drinking well is, really important for the, the mountain stages so yeah it's just happened. <laughs> you be you will be a bit of now ahead of the, the last stage of the scary Yeah well like just to get a stage win that was my goal and I've achieved that now so um, really really happy. I'll be uh, on cloud nine tomorrow on the stage riding around.